The fallout continues after what some have called the most embarrassing interview Fox has ever conducted. So we're going to show you some of the updates from it, but first, just in case you didn't see the interview, here are the highlights. Taylor Kane um, just says, uh, so your book is written with clear bias and you're trying to say it's academic. That's like having a Democrat write a book about why Reagan wasn't a good Republican. Is It, it, it just doesn't work. Well, what do you say would, to that? It would be like... It would be like a Democrat with a Ph.D. in Reagan who has been studying his life in history for two decades writing a book about Reagan. But then why would, Again, why would a Democrat want to promote democracy by writing about a Republican? I mean, I, mean, I, well, I see that the assuming, point is, is that... Ma'am, may I just, may I just yeah, finish my sentence for a moment, please? I think that the fundamental problem here is that you're assuming that I have some sort of faith-based bias in this work that I write. I write about Judaism, I write about Hinduism, I write about Christianity, I write about Islam. My job as a scholar of religions with a PhD in the subject is to write about religions. <laughs> so uh, if you, we can't show you all of it, but she just kept reiterating, but you're a Muslim, why are you writing about the early life of Jesus? But you're yeah. a Muslim and he has multiple degrees and so he thankfully he schooled her incredibly well and so I love that now uh, before we get to the commentary really fast so th there's been obviously fallout like they're the laughing stock of the internet now I mean they have been for a number of reasons but this is just so easy to mock um, but now uh, some people are coming out they feel sorry for Laura, uh, Lauren Green she's the one who conducted the interview and actually one of them is Reza Aslan the author let's watch Look, I feel really bad for Lauren Green. Anybody, you know this, Alex, anybody on your show knows this, that Lauren was sitting there being yelled at by some producer in her ear, <laughs> trying her hardest to figure out I'm getting how yelled to continue at right this. now. Go exactly, ahead. exactly, you know. And one of the things that's most satisfying about this is that I'm getting a lot of emails from conservatives, from Fox News watchers, who are saying that this has turned them away. In a sense, this is kind of Fox News's jump the shark moment. I think that he handled that in the classiest possible yes. way and in the initial interview what I definitely saw and I think Jake talked about this on the main show I'm not sure um, was just like this projection from Fox like where they always come from such a biased point of view that they can't imagine a Muslim writing about Jesus from an unbiased point of view um, and I love all the different ways in which she asked the exact same question so first she asked from her own perspective like why would you as a Muslim want to write about Jesus she's like uh, and I'm paraphrasing and then she's like <laughs> But I'm reading this article and they're asking the same question. Why is it that you'd want to write about Jesus? Like, stop asking the same freaking question. Can I just say yeah. that I think this is why what we do here is so important because yes, we do have something in our ear right now, mm -hmm. but no one is barking directions at us and everything yeah. that we say is coming out of our own brains whether you agree with it or not. So I don't know if MSNBC, if uh, Alex, what's her name, Wagner. has people yelling at her the whole time, but we don't and that's why you can get more honesty here and online mm -hmm. versus, I, I, I don't know that the Fox lady had someone yelling at her. She didn't strike me as particularly bright or sensitive or mm -hmm. smart. Uh, but regardless, uh, whether it was coming out of her brain or coming out of someone in the truck, it, it makes no difference. Yeah, she's so, still responsible for what she says. Yeah. So I knew very little about Lauren Green until this happened. So I guess, I mean, if you believe that all publicity is good publicity, yeah. well, this bad publicity is good for her because all of a sudden I know who she is. Um, but she's Fox News's like religious <laughs> correspondent. Yes. That's insane. Well, I mean, look, Why we, we didn't see... Why would you need see... a religious correspondent? No, a correspondent that is, at, to some degree, an expert on religion, I suppose. The same way you might have a, a law correspondent or a business correspondent, I suppose. Well, I'm trying okay. to well, be a, fair. A law correspondent uh -huh. or a business correspondent is of yeah. importance and yeah. relevance. Um, if yeah, well, like we have Colonel Morris Davis on for military issues and stuff like that in the TV right. show. Right, military issues yeah. are relevant. Sorry, I'm just hey, trying to be devil's advocate. Listen, when the royal baby was born last week, <laughs> CNN literally had a royal correspondent. I kid you not. I mean, I someone was coming on as yeah. royal family And he was a baby. And it was just a six-day-old <laughs> baby. It was very upsetting. I read an yeah. article today, or I didn't read the article. I saw a headline. What would the royal baby look like as an adult? Mm -hmm. <laughs> What are we doing? I don't. Uh, What's he, happening right oh now? Oh my god! I don't know. Well, maybe what? just maybe uh, just interject the possible. Um, I guess the the usefulness of having a religious correspondent. We do argue a lot about it in the country. And if you have if, if something happens with terrorism, and then people go, well, what religion is that? And what are these Muslims doing? And it 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 helps. I think now the fact that she's. She's biased. She's a, yeah, exactly. And she's she's a correspondent that's there to promote Christianity. Exactly. Not yes. to not to have any kind of well. I, Ironically, someone like Reza Aslan, who knows and has studied these religions, would be a type useful person to have to talk about things that 
we wouldn't understand because we haven't studied all of them. Yeah. Which I don't think she has either. Yeah, she, she, she finds it hard to imagine that you could write a book as a Muslim about Jesus without being biased because if they were to write a book about Muhammad, it would be biased as hell. Oh, definitely. But um, there, there has actually, like, what, what's so funny about this is, you know, Frox has gotten a, a lot of criticism for being, like, so obviously anti-Muslim. Reza Aslan makes the reference to jumping the shark. And so the way they respond to the criticism is to bring on a guy that says some vaguely anti-Muslim stuff. So I'm referring to Brent Bozell of the Conservative Media. Media Research Center. He came on to defend Lauren Green, uh, and this is what he said. Well, I'll be the first one to stand up and applaud Lauren Green for the question that she asked. It was the exact correct question that needed to be asked. Look, this man was a Christian who converted to Islam, and she had every right to ask him, are you being, she's asking him, in fact, do you have a bias? Are you being influenced by your faith to write what you're writing? He should have first and foremost said, yes, I am. To deny it shows the arrogance, and you saw his answer, just the aloof arrogance that how dare she even ask that question. Look, the fact of the matter is, the, the Muslim faith believes that Jesus Christ was, did not have a, a, a divine nature. They do not believe he was God. Therefore, if he is going to take the attitude, well, he's just a scholar, he just happens to be Muslim, that he really didn't care about this issue so much, he's not a very good Muslim. Wow. He is an expert on what it takes <laughs> to be a good Muslim. Obviously, Reza is on that one. But it's also an example of Fox News rejecting education because as Reza Aslan said clearly, I have four degrees in religious studies. Like I'm not some person who's just randomly pulling facts out of my ass. Like he is mm -hmm. a religious scholar. But it doesn't matter to Bozell who is not a scholar of anything other than BS. <laughs> you know what I mean?